This is not a drill. Manchester United have just won away from home for the first time since PSG. Man United have just won 1-0 against Partizan Belgrade. And yes, on paper, we should have steamrolled them. And yes, on paper, actually, no, the performance itself was largely not that good. But United have just won away from home and finally put to bed that damn hoodoo that's been going over us. Not even a hoodoo. Just utter horrendous form away from home. That's now in the past, maybe. Probably not. But we won 1-0 against Partizan Belgrade. Anthony Martial making the difference with an ice call penalty just before half time. But the main thing today is the victory. Finally, we can put that behind us. And there's two, three real positives I want to take away from that game today. Number one, we finally won an away game. And with Norwich coming up and Chelsea coming up, it's a good time to do that because we need to get momentum back into this team. Number two, Brandon Williams was my man of the match and he played extremely well at left wing back. And I think, is there really a reason why Luke Shaw or Ashley Young should start ahead of him in the Premier League now? Not after that performance. A very mature performance, both in the attacking sense and in defence. He was very good, right position, right time. And that's what a 3-5-2 would allow you to do. Allow your wing backs more freedom going forward to add towards the attack. And that's my third big, big positive for today. I said against Liverpool that I wanted to move away from that 4-2-3-1 formation, which I think has stifled for United for so long. And we did. Lo and behold, one of the best performances we've had of the season so far. And I was worried that Solskjaer was just going to revert back to the 4-2-3-1 after that game. He didn't. Again, United used three at the back. Now, Maguire, Rojo and Jones is not the back three I would use in any way, shape or form. But it won't be the three that gets used in the Premier League either. Today was about rotation away from home. And we won. 1-0. But st still using three at the back was so crucial today for me. Because I wanted United to... Take a step forward after the Liverpool game. And I think we did that today. Using three at the back, as I said, allow Brandon Williams to really bomb forward. Allow wan to go forward before he was taken off. This 3-5-2 plays towards the strengths of this United squad so much more at the moment than any other formation. So I want to see it used every week. And the fact that Solskjaer stuck to it and away from home in Serbia, not an easy game. That's a real big positive. I think the big thing missing from that formation is the fact that today in midfield, we had Scott McTominay playing alongside James Garner, who was starting his first game. Now, Garner didn't have an incredible game, nor did he have a terrible game. It's the sort of game you'd expect from somebody making his first start in central midfield. Now, the big problem here is that McTominay and Garner are quite similar midfielders, and certainly in, at the point of their careers, McTominay's about six months ahead, but neither of them like to control the tempo of the game. Drop Paul Popper in there, and this formation could really, really, really work because we need a midfielder in there who's capable of spraying the ball left and right to the wing backs who now have space because of this formation. I really genuinely think that this is the turning point formation for United. I don't know whether it's because Solskjaer has been waiting to have the right players available, X, Y, Z. But 3-5-2 or 4-3-3, it allows United to express themselves so much more. And just finally winning a damn away game is a big, big thing. Because there's so many unwanted records hanging over United at the moment. But that's one that's gone. Martial in that first half, I don't think he was that effective. But Partizan were very physical against him. You could tell he wasn't 100%. But he made the difference with that penalty. Brandon Williams, as I said, my man of the match... Won the penalty. His own barnstorming run forward, excellent play. Won the foul against him. If Luke Shaw or Ashley Young was playing at left wing back, I doubt either of them would have been in that position to have made that run. There's definite positives to take from this game today. We've built on that draw against Liverpool, which could have been a win. And maybe if Brandon Williams was playing left back against Liverpool, he would have been there in front of Adam Lallana. But that's hindsight. 
Looking forward, Brandon Williams for me, clearly right now, easily the best left back option that Solskjaer has at his disposal. He's been pretty impressive in every game so far, but that was his best performance. And what a time to do it. United needed that win. A draw against Liverpool, massively positive in almost every respect, apart from the fact that I feel we lost and dropped two points. But today against Partizan, we finally won away from home. Two wins out of two in the Europa League, lovely. Not the most incredible performances, but ultimately results are what is remembered. And we won today. Brandon Williams, man of the match at left wing back. For me, he's got to start there from now on. James Garner getting 90 minutes. Anthony Martial returning. A clean sheet. There's a lot of reason to be positive today. and It's been a season of largely disappointments. So take them when they come. And as I said, beating Partizan, put into bed that horrible record that we had away from home. And now looking forward to Norwich, which is going to be a tough game. But if we stick to this 3-5-2 or just anything apart from a 4-2-3-1, I think United can look forward to a better November to January than we have from August to October so far. Let me know what you think about that match in the comments below. For me, man of the match, Brandon Williams. He did outstandingly well. Hope that's a sign of things. They can't beat United and one away from home. Don't adjust your TV set. We actually did it. Let's kick on and Norwich is next.